Active Citizenship is a whole school project at LePage Primary School in Bradford. Throughout the school, each year group is linked with the community and carry out activities to raise awareness over a range of issues and build and maintain positive relationships. Active citizenship for me means being a citizen that's part of a wider community, so be it within the school, be it within the local area, be it within the city, the country, the world. Active citizenship incorporates elements of purposeful campaigning, intergenerational collaboration, cross-cultural, religious and multi-ethnic networking through a diverse range of communities. Active citizenship means to me working together but also inspiring other people to do the things that I've done as well. The project aims to provide children with a range of opportunities including building their confidence, their responsibility as social citizens and realising their impact on their world. My name is Shivana Khan and I am one of the heads of school. The Active Citizenship Programme, the idea behind it was to develop positive relationships with the wider community. There has been a positive impact because it's raised awareness of the different people in our community. But I think for our children as well, for them and their own citizenship, it's made them really think carefully of what it means to be a citizen of Bradford and the wider community. My name is Maria and I am the Active Citizenship Lead at LePage Primary School. The Active Citizenship Project is a whole school project that links every year group to a community. Every year group has an age appropriate link and it is meaningful and purposeful to them because they are exploring the world around them. The purpose of the project is for children to become active citizens and to develop their role and their identity in their local communities which they may not necessarily come into contact with. People of different faith, people of different beliefs, people of different ages. As part of linking schools, um, we linked with Delius and it's a specialist school. Children would go over and they would um, join in their lessons. We do lots of colouring, hand paintings. And during the lessons they would have like story time, We'd then play games. I think the biggest thing that the children gained from the activities were building their confidence and self-esteem. When the children returned, it was nice to see you know, them talking about the different types of children that they engaged with. Kanza is a really nice girl. She helps other people, um, she helps herself, she helps other people more than herself. I learned that everyone is equal. It was also taught them a lot about resilience and then how they can overcome their barriers. activities that we did for active citizenship in year one was um, the children were baking and raising money for child line. The thing that I enjoyed the most about the activity I think was seeing the children um, become more engaged with the purpose for their baking. I think the key learning points was getting them to be quite selfless and thinking about others. Finding out about different charities which are around also just increasing their own awareness in terms of how to help and support others. A lot of the children sort of sometimes take things for granted. It's giving them that holistic view that not necessarily everybody has the same things that you have. Just raising that awareness and getting them to see through the eyes of somebody else and how they could impact and help other people. One of the things that the children gained most from it was probably increases in the levels of confidence. So having the confidence to not only bake but actually then go around school and um, try to sell their products to others. In the beginning was quite a struggle for the children but seeing that learning journey with them as they grew in confidence towards the end of the year was amazing. I think the thing that I learnt about the process was just really seeing how much the children took on board everything that they were doing and just really getting to grips with the reasoning behind it and the purpose behind it. So knowing that they were baking but having a wider reason for doing so in terms of raising money for others. Yellow ones. 
We've been doing a gardening and environment project around our own primary school, mainly involving the children planting seeds and watching them grow through the year. It's been a really fulfilling activity and the children have flourished in it and really enjoyed it and have seen the benefits in it. We send them off to do the litter picking and they've got to work in their teams and work together. Giving the children adult tasks, or they saw them as adult tasks, taking a social responsibility. Children actually saying, doesn't it look better now, sir, doesn't it look good? And seeing the capabilities that they had in doing that and their confidence and the pride that they had. The Linking Project is a year-long project where we partnership up with another school that's in a contrasting location within Bradford. The children are able to meet their peers. And they send a variety of information about themselves and they communicate with them and build up a dialogue. Last year in Year 4 we did a Linking Project which was linked with the Actors in Citizenship. I liked about the project that we made new friends from different schools and um, keeps us from our, our uh, inner shell. So say that we're, we're in a shell now, we've, we've learned that we have a bigger community out there and we've stepped out of our shell and we're learning more. All about me. I am the second youngest out of two sisters and two brothers. I adore my dad and my mother. My two favourite sports are basketball and football. It's best to play somewhere big and spacey like a PE hall. I have two pet buddies, although I don't let them eat anything fudgy. My birthday is in December and my friends is in November. I have many talents like being able to balance. My teeth are shiny even when I try to be whiny. With the Bradford Cathedral event, they were able to take part in the research of the Bells project and that was a massive project but they were then able to go to a service at the church, experience what that was like. My name is Isa and I'm a Year 6 child at Lepage Primary. The children at Lepage Primary School proudly took part in the Heritage Project. We explored artefacts from the cathedral's archives and some of these included the insightful and inspiring diary of Joe Hardcastle, the cathedral Ben Ringer who provided much of the information that we now know. At our school we created magical music using handbells and chimes which you can hear even now. This composition helped us with musical skills and we experimented with bells with different volumes, tones, densities and pitches. The World War I Memorial Bells captured the spirit of Bradford, its history, its community and people during war and peace and remembrance. We hope that the future for our community remains bright and may we continue to spread the message of love, peace and respect. Thank you all. The Fuel for School project is about saving the environment by not throwing food into landfills and it's about giving that food that is perfectly fine to eat to put people in the community. Every Friday we get a delivery of food that would normally go to landfill. It gets delivered to school and then we've got year six children that are selling. They run the market stall so they put it out at 2.45 every Friday and we've invited parents to come and access the stall so we've got it's been really well received lots of parents are coming by the fresh fruit and vegetables and everything like that we will have families who find it very difficult to keep up with the costs of fresh fruit and vegetables and here we have a resource of absolutely perfectly good food to eat but it's thrown away they can then get that on a basis of pay as you feel We've trained up six children initially and then they work on a rolling programme and they train other children. There are two adults there to monitor uh, for safety reasons, but generally the children are the ones who organise all the food, they collect the money, uh, they're the ones who are talking to the parents and encouraging them to buy, they will look at the ingredients of things to, for the parents and explain whether it's uh, suitable or not. So they do most of that, a whole organisation. Interacting with parents that they wouldn't probably normally interact with and developing their confidence and social and leadership skills, I feel. Parents are really quickly engaged um, and it's now really popular and everything sells. Part of the Pay As You Feel scheme, so that works really, really well. I've definitely enjoyed leading it because I feel it's a brand new kind of enterprise for us. In class we've been looking at homelessness and the issues around homelessness, you know, why it is important for us to be helping the homeless people. My name is Ricardo. In 
year six, we are raising awareness of by collecting a lot of daily products and warm clothing. Children have come up with lots of ideas themselves. They've also considered having awareness days in school where they can make other children and staff aware of the issues around homeless people and, and what we're doing to support them. It, it's been amazing to see how well they've all come together, collaborated with each other and talked about you know, what they can do to help. The difficulties behind this project were, first of all, that because it is such a grand scale project, it really needs to be carefully thought out and it takes a lot of planning and discussing and ensuring that everybody understands what, what impact this is going to have for their children and for their year group. Not, not every community is as willing to participate, not every community has the capacity, the sort of funding. It was ensuring that we had things like risk assessments completed, that we had safeguarding checks. The key to the success of this project have been the staff themselves and this goes right down to our support staff up to our head teachers and assistant heads. Everybody has played their role and has had a huge impact in this and that has been the driving factor that has made this project a success. And then on top of that we have our amazing children who have just been so willing and have just enjoyed every moment of this project. Active citizenship for me is the children actually participating and making a difference for something. Helping other people, going outside their comfort zone. If you speak to any teacher, what they say is that they want to make a difference. Broadening the children's experiences in a huge variety of ways. Empowering our children to make a difference in their world. People can make the world a better place if they look after the environment around us. We're teaching the children to integrate not only in, with people from different cultures but from, with people from different generations. Encouraging them to understand that this world, this society that they live in is not just them and their home and their bubble and knowing that they can change things. So it's all about the children knowing that they can make that impact. I'm really proud of myself and showing other people that I can be confident and I can tell you something. It's the time for the next generation of children. They can change the world really, really good and make it a better place. These children are going to have to draw upon these skills for the rest of their lives. And it's priceless, really, this experience that we give them. 